Hi friends, this is Callie Person. Thanks so much for joining me today. I've made a shadow box card using the Mice on Ice stamp set by Lawn Fawn and I just wanted to share with you how I constructed my shadow box card today. To start, I've stamped out a few images from the Mice on Ice stamp set. This stamp set is full of adorable skating mice with lots of holiday sentiments and there are dies that also cut out those large sentiments and we'll be using the joyful one later. Mice are pretty simple to color, so I'm going to go ahead and do some shading quickly with a few warm Copic markers. I'm first adding the W6 on the bottoms and sides of my images, then adding W3, then blending it out with W1. For the bellies and ears, I'm doing R20 and then muting that color slightly by blending the W1 over it to coordinate with the rest of the mice. We want pops of color on those scarves, so I'm using teals and reds and purples. The colors are written above in the upper left hand corner for you for reference, and so you can refer back to that if you need to. On the skates, we're using E31 and E35. It's just a quick blend on those small areas. And then I also did W6 on the noses. Using the shadow box die, I'm going to cut the box die twice to get two panels using mermaid cardstock. And then I'm going to use the mountain add-on to cut the front to create this window with the spruce trees. And then I'm going to use my bone folder to fold and reinforce all of these score lines to create my box. And then I'm going to go ahead and add double-sided adhesive to those flaps to construct the box later. I've got this No Day Remix Petite Paper Pack here that I love. I love this one especially with the bunnies, but we're going to go ahead and flip towards the one with the bouquet effect snowflakes. That's uh, going to coordinate well with my mermaid cardstock that I used to construct my box. So we'll go ahead and cut a strip that's three and a half inches wide that doesn't go all the way down towards the bottom, but that's okay because we're going to be using the mountains and snowbanks later to cover that up. I adhered that down and using my fog cardstock, I went ahead and cut out this mountain from the mountain add-on die and then I'm going to add some white snow caps. And then once that's done, after I've trimmed off the sides because I don't need the flaps, I'm going to go ahead and adhere that just over that background uh, pa petite pattern paper that we added. Next, I've die cut those snowy hills using pixie dust cardstock. That's Lawn Fawn's white sparkle cardstock. And then I've added double-sided adhesive to the flaps so that they can be adhered to the side walls of the shadow box card. It's easiest to do it one side at a time, and that's why I'm not adhering the left side to the other side of the box yet. Okay, so now we can start decorating those flaps. I've die cut the log cabin here from the mountain add-on, and that facing of the log cabin is die cut using the wood grain cardstock. I've cut out a little strip of yellow just so I could adhere it behind the windows for some lighting, and then I'm going to add the little puff of smoke there um, out of the chimneys and then I'm going to sandwich that between the two layers just to make sure that it's nice and secure in there and then I'm going to add my white roof just to kind of imitate a little bit of snow in the background inside that shadow box. I felt like this door needed to be red so I'm just going to quickly color it with R35 and then moving on to these spruce trees I've die cut from noble fir and cilantro cardstock on the cilantro cardstock, which is the lighter one, I wanted to add some more shading on it, so I'm just going to ink blend a little bit of Pine Needles Distress Oxide ink on them. And now we're ready to decorate the inside of our shadow box by adding these die cut elements to our snowy hillsides. I'm adhering the house on the back with a few trees, then adding some more trees on the front flap. Before decorating the front of the box, we can go ahead and adhere the piece with the front of the shadow box. Then I removed the adhesive from the side for those inserts and then folded the front side of that box over them to make sure that the box folds nicely and is flat. I decided to adhere the back of my card later so I moved on to the front of my box to decorate it. I knew that these four little slots for the trees were at the front of my card earlier so I went ahead and reserved them and now I'm just going to go ahead and adhere them over the front here. Now in order to add my skating mice I'm going to need a pond. I'm going to create this look by using another hillside, then matting it with a layer of pearlescent vellum. I go ahead and trim off the flaps once more since we don't need those for the front of the card. And then I wanted to cast a blue hue on my pond, so I'm using the B04 Copic marker to color the back side of the vellum to give it that blue color. 
When I was done coloring the vellum piece, I go ahead and adhere the two pieces together, trimmed it off a little bit at the bottom, and then adhered it to the front of my card. I realized at this point that I should have waited to adhere the back decorative part of my card so that I could hide the flap, so I did a little bit of finagling and then got it under the piece that I had already glued down underneath. All right, now it's time to add my mice. I wanted the one jumping in the air to be off the ground, so I'm gonna cut a thin piece of acetate and then adhere him to it, and then add a little adhesive to the bottom, and then save him for last because I wanna make sure that there's enough room for my sentiments. I've stamped my sentiment here in peacock ink, and then I'm just gonna add it on top of my box. And then off camera, because I forgot to keep recording, I went ahead and added that piece of acetate with the mice jumping up in the air. And that finishes my Mice on Ice Shadow Box card. I hope you like this fun little winter box. If you'd like to see more of my recent videos, you can click on one of these here. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.